We still have many questions about the end of Game of Thrones. Uh, we are so far away from actually finding out the answer. So of course, we are working hard as obsessed crazy people to try and figure it out on our own. Um, website Inverse worked with Unanimous AI to enlist a swarm of 50 Game of Thrones fans to predict the show's final season using so-called swarm intelligence. Uh, in the past, swarm intelligence has been kind of accurate, they say extremely, I say kind of based on uh, election results, worm intelligence data I had viewed before. Um, so they decided to uh, use this method to try and predict the ending of Game of Thrones and some of the greatest questions in the series. So the way that this works is uh, each of the 50 participants controls a small magnet and uses it to drag the puck in the center uh, toward the answer they think is the most likely outcome. And then the closer they use uh, the put the magnet to the puck, the greater pulling force they have there. So it would be like a strong to medium to low uh, of confidence in the answer itself. So let's take a look at what they found. Uh, the first one is the one that Isaac Hempstead Wright recently refuted is Bran the Night King. Um, and they found here no with low confidence. Who is Azor Ahai, the prince who was promised? Any of the characters we know, they think it's someone else. And lastly, is Cersei really pregnant? Yes, yes, no, no, high confidence, low confidence. They think she's pregnant with low confidence in my voice. But um, I am a little bit dubious about the idea of using um, swarm AI to predict because we only need to go off of a few people who would be able to predict, which would be George R. R. Martin and the two Davids who are running Game of Thrones the show. And this seems more like voting or you know, just using popular outcomes. It doesn't necessarily mean that's the final outcome. It just means it's probably likely. They also describe them as fans, not necessarily super fans or obsessive fans or people who've poured and read through everything, much like Sam at the Citadel. But it was just, I, I, I need a stronger qualifier than that, to be honest. Um, it looks... It's interesting to think about, but when you think about the methodology or where we're getting the data from, it makes less and less sense to me. Though you may have very high confidence in AI swarm predictions. Audience, what do you think? Do you think they were right and why? Please let us know below and please like and subscribe for more.